13's taking you on the road with the Seattle Thunderbirds. It's probably one of the, my most favorite parts of the, of the day is when it's just kind of quiet out here. It's the calm before the storm. Hawk management activated early. Go, Millie. Puck drops on a new season for the Seattle Thunderbirds. Build on it, build on it. And this year, ice, ice. expectations are high. We want a championship. That, that's our focus this year. We're excited to take another crack at a, at a championship. A championship that eluded the Thunderbirds a year ago, despite a deep playoff run. Seattle staved off elimination seven times in the Western Hockey League playoffs. The horn sounds. The wait is over. The Edmonton Oil Kings sit at their throne once again. They are crowned the 2022 Western Hockey League champions. And Only to fall to Edmonton in the finals. It was definitely hard getting getting so close to uh, winning the championship, but, but not quite sealing the deal. But uh, I think I think just going on that long run, uh, getting all that experience, we have a lot of the same guys back here this year. Uh, it's just going to help us moving forward. We're definitely hungry. We're we're trying to earn earn our respect. Again, again. Earn our place every day. Do that one again. We understand that nothing's going to be given to us, and we're just going to come out hungry on on practice days uh, for for game days. We're we're hungry to get better. Good, 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 good. Reload and reengage is kind of our slogan, and we want revenge. We want that title. Anaheim two on one. Leading the charge is head coach Matt Odette. There we go. In his sixth season with the Thunderbirds. So that's where you gotta read there. The individual success that came from our run last year. You know, it was great to see. You know, lots of draft picks and you know, two high draft picks, uh, first rounders. So, you know, we're looking to make a similar run this time finishing it off. One of those first round draft picks, defenseman Kevin Korchinski. With the seventh overall pick, the Chicago Blackhawks are proud to select from the Seattle Thunderbirds, Kevin Korchinski. Good call, boys. It was really special, like in Montreal with the family um, and just kind of experiencing the whole thing. Uh, obviously getting your name called is really special. I'm going to Chicago. It's awesome. Just heading to this year, I can just grind it out and uh, just focus on the team again. Don't hurt me. Korchinski, or Korch, as his teammates call him, represents the dream for each of these players. And goals the NHL. I think uh, everyone here is, uh, also thinks the same. Play it! Play it! Simply put, the Western Hockey League is professional hockey prep school. Hey, you got Reno, you got Reno, you got Reno. It's a league that gets you ready for, for that type of step. You know, it's a pro-type schedule, travel, et cetera, et cetera. Good, Gussie. You know, I think it's a little bit different. These guys are still kids and... Oh, hello. No. <laughs> you have a bunch of kids that are passionate about playing hockey and have big dreams of playing in the NHL, so... You have a group of kids that come together from all over the place, away from home. You know, it's a unique experience for them, so it kind of creates that bond. Wow. Amongst each other because they're all in the same boat. Yeah, we we love each other in the room. We uh, we fight for each other every night. Um, obviously, we're we live together. It's like a family. <laughs> I love the boys and my brothers. I hang out with them every day. I see them more than my own family. So, uh, you know, we're all really close. So it definitely helps. We're gonna see a lot of this type of stuff against Portland. The focus this week: a pair of games with Seattle's arch rival. We can use a high punt. The Portland Winterhawks. You know, the first time meeting these guys this this year. So always grueling, always hard fought. Games. And Caden Garreau drops the gloves with him. Well, another makeshift line brawl. These two teams do not like each other. Yeah, no friends with uh, the Portland Winter Rocks, that's for sure. Obviously, it's a heated rival every time we play, so. Another empty net goal in 
the series for Reed Schaefer. Definitely no friends over there. And that will do it. The Seattle Thunderbirds, they are moving on. The Thunderbirds eliminated Portland from the playoffs last season on their way to a Western Conference title. Grabbing the game by the balls right away. And this weekend, first place is on the line. Seattle leads the division with the best record in the league. When we're cranking, guys, this is what ends up happening. And Portland right behind them. That's what our reputation does as a heavy four-checking team. You become a D. Coach so Odette, or Odie, as the players call him, Ozone, Ozone, Ozone. Speaks from decades of experience living this hockey life. I played in the OHL, which is the Ontario equivalent of the WHL. Played uh, in the minors all over the place. Got close, got a couple cups of coffee, call-ups. Um, you know, went to preseason games, but never, never broke through to become an NHLer. Um, but Corch is going to dance a bit up top. He's got to play in a lot of cool places and good experience, so no complaints. We got guys going in the net. This is where we excel here. As the leader of young men, Odette plays numerous roles. Stay focused here and let's get ready to attack today. All right. Counselor. I think it's okay. It's better than it was yesterday, so it's getting better. Yeah. You got in a bar fight, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Comic. Just kid. Just kid. No. Positive vibes today, bud. Philosopher. I can tell you're trying last game. Made a difference. Okay. You put put out the good vibes in the universe. You get them back, right? And motivator. Let's fire it up here. <laughs> Ahead of this pivotal matchup, right winger Makai Sanders just got some exciting news. Real good, kid. He's finally been cleared to play after a serious knee injury that kept him sidelined for eight months. Yeah, yeah. Makai is the only American on the roster, and he grew up right here. Oh, yeah, right. In Gig Harbor. <laughs> Ever since uh, I was with the Junior Thunderbirds and at Snow King, uh, these were kind of like the, you know, the golden standard was like, you know, the Thunderbirds, everyone looked up to the Thunderbirds. I uh, sat right there. Like in that section right there, every time I came, and uh, I've always, you know, looked at these ice for a long time, just being a spectator and uh, being able to put on the Birds logo is just an unbelievable feeling, and I, I love every day I am here. Big rivalry game, okay? We're excited for these games. We live for these games, so make sure we're ready to bring it. I want to see some energy. Hey, take it up. Up. Before the game, the locker room is a flurry of activity. I get the legs nice and loosey-goosey. But nobody is busier before the game than equipment manager Ryan Campbell. It's just my little storage room. It's kind of the show behind the show, I like to call it. There's definitely a lot of things that people don't know about. It's just you're going to have to hand cut it like Kobe did. When you play hockey as a kid, you just show up to the rink and you play. But once you get to this level, there's a lot more to it, you know, when it comes to laundry and sharpening skates and stuff like that. There really are no breaks. All right, I'm going to head to the bench. Check it out. Just kind of take 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there to yourself and nothing going on. And you can come make sure your bench is ready to go. If they can feel their best and play their best, that means I did my job. When I come to work, it just seems like it's fun. Like, it's, it's a game. Let's go, Chicken Rice! Welcome inside the Accesso Showwear Center for tonight's showdown atop the Western Conference standings of the Western Hockey League. It's the T-Birds hosting the Portland Winterhawks. It's our barn tonight. Big start, Poppy, many hands, million than that. Here we go. Fans get into it. They they know about the rivalry. Come on, boys! Man! <laughs> Our fans chant Portland sucks no matter who we're playing. The fans here are great. Like they're like nothing I've seen before. Ah, ah, ah. High shot on goal. That chance by Pickford a rebound bouncing on the top of the net. Oh, no! Start blue. And here comes Portland now the other way. Oh, right through, buddy. Canyoni feeds it across. Shot, they scored. Ah! 
I'm a happy guy and I like to keep things loose, so uh, I'm always smiling, but when I get on the ice, I, I kind of change my personality. I flip the switch. <laughs> Let's go! Getting under their skin, it kind of gets you going. Holy f you suck, 5'9". How'd you sneak out here, buddy? We hate them, they hate us. Let's go! Fight me! Over here! Fight me then! Being a fan is actually really fun. Get a deep, boys! There is no more dedicated T-Birds fan than Dan Minio. He knows I'm here. He knows. The father of T-Birds defenseman Sawyer Minio. Go, bud! Go, go, go! Yeah, 43. He attends just about every single game, home and away. Love the game. Love the game, and uh, these kids work so hard to get where they are. They all work so hard. Side. Down the ice. No, no, no. It's a cross side feed. Leaky shot. Rebound score. Let's fing go. Need some ozone type. It's too much up and down the ice. Oh, I love it. Ah, uh, base it across. Siona cross ice feed. Shot score. Momentum change. Momentum kill here, boys. Momentum kill. Special teams, Portland, all their scoring tonight have either been on the power play or shorthanded. Oh! Cross ice V Canyoni back post speed shot. They score again. Another Portland power play goal. Oh my God. Come on. I'm glad you have a target on our back. It's time to look in the mirror here, fellas, and play for the, the, the crest on the front of the jersey, okay? We're playing for some pride here. We're gonna get back to being what's us. There's no quit, there's no lying down in this room. Come on, prove it here. Let's get up here, boys. Third period, Seattle down. Double post. Cross eyes, backdoor feed. High slot, Gustafson skates in. Let it f off, kid. Borchinski, one time shot, and he scores! Still down by two. Oh. We didn't develop into a championship caliber team last year overnight. Two minutes right here, you guys. It took the course of the season to learn what we needed to learn to get to where we got. Time winding down. The formula sound in Portland knocks off the t -bird. We just got outplayed, man, in every facet. 12 pims for Shaves. He really gets six minors tonight. You know, I never thought I would say this, but Portland outgridded us this weekend. Okay, they did, I mean, if, we're, if we're being honest here. We beat them out of the playoffs. We ended their season, so maybe the hunger level for them is more. Is more. The sweet ain't a sweet without the bitter. And we, we got to go through these things to get where we want to go. There needs to be a little bit of reflection and looking in the mirror here. Okay, We're a good team. We've had a good start to the season, but um, we know it takes more than that, way more than that to win the championship. And this is where we challenge ourselves to get better. You know, getting in at four or five in the morning sometimes. It's not always easy to wake up next day and go to the rink, but I think when you have such a close-knit group of guys, it, it, it helps you get out of bed in the morning. Um, you want to go and hang out with your buddies. The long road trips are a part of it, and it it, it was it was, it spawns us closer together. You know, we take their phones, you know, stay off their phones, you know, start to focus and, and get a nap in. So some quiet time before. No distractions. Raining. We're in the we're in the rainy season now. You guys, oh, you guys haven't ate yet? This is a little family Christmas back home in Canada. It's tough to miss those type of things, but this is the life, you know. I've been away from home since I was 16. Yeah, I gotta get going. I gotta do some stuff here on the bus. Miss you guys. Bye. You know, it's not ideal, but we we do our best to to stay connected and kind of share these these moments with each other. And we come from a hockey family, so they understand the situation. When you're approaching the you know the veterans memorial coliseum, it's uh, you know it starts to click in that. You know, it's a big game against Portland, so, you know, you always get the kind of the nervous butterflies. You know, when it tells you it's a big game and, you know, it helps you prepare and get ready. This is kind of a routine the guys get into. Basically, all about just getting ready and getting feeling good and getting the body warmed up and getting your motion activated and your muscles working. How's that feel? That's good. Yeah. Tonight, the T-Birds are missing several key players competing at the World Junior Championships where they would win a gold medal for Canada. We'll need some guys to step up and face the challenge. 
One of those guys is 17-year-old goaltender Scott Ratzlaff, who grew up in the tiny town of Irma, Alberta. And I do mean tiny. Uh, about 500 people. But he's dreaming big. In this, his draft year, he knows a strong performance in front of the NHL scouts that attend every game could land him a lucrative contract. But those thoughts? I try to limit it as much as possible. You can shut as many things out as possible, the drafts, scouts, and things like that. Just trying to stay in your own headspace will definitely be an advantage this year. They've got some good young players that will fall into this year's draft, so it's early in the season, but we want to check them out now. Dictate the game our way. We're willing to grind, and this is a first-place game. Okay, When we're in first place, Okay, first team in the Western Conference of 20 wins. We want to be that team. Let's get it done tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your moment of zen. In this packed building, CHL number two, that's Seattle. CHL number six, top ten, that's Portland. Sit back and enjoy this one. Uh, why aren't we sorted? We got to sort there. Go here. Center right, take away, no end, quick break on that, shoots, score! It's Teddy near time! The shower of stuffed animals has taken over the Coliseum. Refocus here, Blue A, here we go. Refocus here. Now they go from Teddy Bear Toss School to right and ready for action. Hunt, 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 hunt! Pasternak. Squeeze! Off the relay to the net, here's Usher! What a save! getting what they want before this pack crowd. A 2-0 lead. Oh hey, let's settle down, man. Let's settle down. We forced one to where? Where was he passing that to? Oh, my God. There's a f***ing two on four. Brains aren't on. Let's come out a little stronger. Yeah, come out a little. Let's come out a little bit. We need some resiliency here, okay? We've been in these situations before. Let's f***ing get her done here. Right on the path, right away. Let's f***ing go here. It's going to be a greasy one, boys. Down two goals in short four of their top players, Seattle is desperate for a spark. They need a momentum shift. Let's make okay here. And 16-year-old rookie Bryce Pickford answers the bell. Pickford, oh my goodness, he's throwing that right hand on Sawyer. Curtis tries an uppercut, he's going to connect. Now Pickford going uppercut, lower cut, another uppercut. Bryce Pickford really won that game. Anyway, Pickford! Feeding off the momentum is 17-year-old Grayson Sachin. Win up, win up! One of the top prospects in the upcoming NHL draft. Come on, boys, keep building here, keep building here. The chances are there. Nico snaps a shot, save a rebound. But the goals remain elusive. Squeeze, shot, save, made near post and held there. What is going on? And the frustration is showing. What the T-Birds really need is a goal. Here we go. Come on now. Despite dominating the second and third periods, Seattle is still down 2-0. Oh, two shots. Right on the path. Let's get her done here. High slot chance on its goal. Bryce Pickford does it again. Well, this young man is something else. Right out of it. He'll take it behind the net. Come around near post side. But a shot. He scores. My, oh, my. Nico Majanovic, and we are tied at two. All Seattle in this third period. Krinkovic right side. Yeah, yeah Teddy scores! Seattle has their first lead of the night. The comeback is nearly complete, but with seconds remaining, goaltender Scott Ratzlaff misplays the puck in the worst possible place at the worst possible time. Out of the trapezoid with hesitation. Get the in trouble. Step on, give it away, and Brad, he scores! Portland forces overtime and a game-deciding shootout. You get a little nervous, but you just got to try and stay calm and just do what you do. Portland goes first. Quasson to the net. Backhander. Save is made. You got to come with speed on this guy. Wait, fire shot. Save. Swings wide from the right. Now to the net. He scores. What do you feel in your gut, baby? Jason Salson is trying to tie it up for Seattle. Hang on on GMC. Pulls it back, and he lost the puck as he was pulling it back to his forehand. I had him. Crossed the blue line in on Rock's lap. 
shot saved made by Ratsy. Jared Davidson's got a score or it's game over from the right side. Moving it on net. Off the crossbar. That's that. Game is over. And the Winterhawks survive. 4 3 is her final. All right. Great, great effort, boys. Great effort. The resiliency. Okay, the pushback, unbelievable. Proud of the effort, proud of the effort. Okay, we, got, we left it all out there. Good news is, in less than 24 hours, we're back at it, okay? We go get that two points tomorrow, and end the weekend uh, the right way. Heads up high, stay together. Really great resiliency, proud of you guys. After a pair of early season losses to arch rival Portland, the Seattle Thunderbirds made a series of trades, adding even more experience to a roster already loaded with NHL caliber talent. Some have called it a WHL super team. This is one of the most special groups I think everybody on this team has ever been a part of. One of the new additions, 20-year-old defenseman Luke Prokop, so drafted by the Nashville Predators. All right, time to score. Prokop played a huge role in the WHL finals against Seattle last season. High slot, Gooley Richard, he scores! Leading Edmonton to the cup. Getting him was a big, big deal. Yeah, yeah. A big deal. And a big fella. At 6'4", Prokop is one of the most imposing defensemen in the league. His play on the ice stands out, but that's not the only thing. The rainbow-colored tape on his stick gives you a hint. Prokop is the first and only openly gay NHL signed player. It was kind of an easy decision for me, honestly. Uh, I was going through my coming out process, and I told my agents. They told me just to think about it. Um, you know, I could, I could do either or. I could come out publicly, or I could keep it private, just with my family and my friends. And that was always something I wanted to do. Um, was come out publicly. I think having someone to look up to is something I didn't have when I was growing up playing hockey. Trailblazer, obviously, um, very brave to, to, to do what he did. I think it speaks to the character that he has, and it's given him some life experience that he can pass on to the team. I, I think he, you know, it's it's contributed to him being so wise, you know, above his years. The guys all look up to him. He's a he's got a big influence. I mean, in the entire world. So, brother. And Prokop takes the influence that he carries seriously. If I could be that role model or that person to, to some little kid growing up, then I think that's what you know my, my legacy in hockey is, is going to be and hopefully will be. Prokop says he has not encountered Ow. any negative backlash on or off the ice since coming out. But he is aware that not everyone supports his decision, especially in the testosterone-fueled world of pro hockey. Good thing I have a helmet on. Several NHL players have refused to even wear pride warm-up jerseys at games this season. He also knows that being openly gay could curtail a promising career. Unless more you know players start coming out, then it's going to kind of be the norm for me, and I was I'm totally prepared for that. It's going to hit us in the head about eight times in this. Set. For him, living his life authentically is much more important. I'd way rather comfortable living, you know, my truth the way I want to. On this night, the hard truth for the Thunderbirds is on the scoreboard. There's no way in any way, shape, or form that team's a better team than us. And we dominated them for the majority of the game. We gotta make sure that by the end of the regular season, they look at it and they don't wanna f with us come playoff time. They don't wanna meet us at all. They're going again. We're heading to the stretch drive right now. With a month to go in the regular season, things start to ramp up. The the points mean more. And the Seattle Thunderbirds, a so-called super team, is performing like one. Right side, Lambert snaps a shot. Score! Winners of nine straight games, the top seed in the WHL playoffs is within their grasp. And pop the water bottle, sends it flying. Let's go, Birds! <laughs> Seattle looks to extend their winning streak to 10 straight against their arch rivals. They are leaking oil right now. We're jumping on these guys right off the hop. Quick two minutes, come out flying. These two teams play 14 times a season. Can take them apart. Now we got a scrap break, and now just inside the Portland line. A rivalry that has lived up to the hype. Look at Siona, and Mark Osser in Fisticuffs with 15 
17 to go. Sienna trying to tie him up and got leverage. Down they go, and that's that. Hey, let's go there. Uh, that's the way. Oh, the only time it hurts is when I bend down like that. Why is your left hand Because I was throwing left. How sick was that showtime move? So I hope that all the boys got a laugh out of that. Taking over, White. We're taking over here. They're trying to clear. Seattle kept it in. Here's Schaefer. He scores! Yeah, baby, yeah! Kurczynski out of the box. To the net. Reek White feet. Shots go! Blocked a rebound. Flip. Score! Great job. Great job. It's a game and it's about having fun. And winning games is super fun. It took everyone. Every single guy chipped in tonight. Probably the best team I've ever played on and most likely will probably ever play on. You guys dug deep to get these wins here. I think it's officially a heater right now. Who's got the chain? It's a special group. I think the story's still being written. High character kids, hardworking, everything you could ask for as a coach. Our eyes are on the prize. You know, only one team gets to win their last game, and we want to be that team.